Hello and welcome to my Transparent Express customer experience vlog by Ollie Smith. Transpennine Express are a British train operating company that have operated the Transpennine Express franchise area services since May the 28th, 2023, following a government takeover. Transpennine operate between the major towns and cities across Northern England and Scotland. Transpennine Express offer a travel service but also offer technology such as Wi-Fi available in standard and first class plus charging ports, food plus drink through a trolley service and onboard menu in first class. Reservations and seats on four different types of trains are also offered on class 31, 315, Nova 1, Nova 2, Nova 3 and Nova 4 trains. I chose Transpennine Express because I use... I use the trains a lot and I've had many positive and negative experiences on them, so I thought it would be an interesting to delve further into customer experience. Transpennine Express offer a train service to customers. Firstly, I have off I have decided to use the product service continuum to analyse the service offering of Transpennine. The placement of a product on a continuum allows marketers to identify potential opportunities. At the tangible end of the continuum, products are positioned that bear no relation to services. At the intangible end, services are positioned that have no connection to physical products. The central segment of the continuum comprises products that exhibit combined characteristics of both goods and services. Stated on screen. Transpennine will be located on the high service, low physical content end of the scale because it is a company that offers a multitude of services, not a product, compared to if you were going to buy groceries. Transpennine are a high service based company because service is defined by Virtue Human Love Lock 2012 as actually its performances or efforts. Also, in exchange for money, time, and effort, service customers expect from skills, expertise, and facilities. This fits with Transpennine as customers pay money and take time to travel on the train in exchange for facilities and driver expense. Expertise. In addition, the service is uncontrollable as it's intangible and high service because the customer can't make the train turn up, however, they can only book the train. Being subjective also analyzes the service offering as a service, a customer experience can find a personal feeling of judgment and circumstance. As customer experience is seen as the subjective response to a holistic, direct, and indirect encounter with the firm, including the communication encounter, service encounter, and consumption encounter, by stated by Brutal Francis 2019. This links as one person's encounter could have been more positive than the other, boosting experience. In addition, Transpennine services can be further analysed for its characteristics. Transpennine offers an inseparable product because the service cannot be separated from service providers compared to a product that could be taken away from a customer, for example. Furthermore, Transpennine services are also perishable, which means they last a specific time and cannot be stored like a product for late use, for example a seat. As for Transpennine, their focus is on the activity from the producer's perspective. It does not last or cannot be stored as stated by Edvards and Gustafsson in 2005. First one is email marketing. Transpennine use emails as a source of information for all customers. When you buy your tickets online through Trainline, Transpennine email you instantly with your booking confirmation, as Transpennine have over 20 services a day from Newcastle to Liverpool Lime Street, for example. To, so accessing tickets and finding out where you can get help if you have inquiries is very important. This touch point boosts the customer experience because it makes the customer feel more engaged and insured, leading to Transpennine having an 82% customer satisfaction score with their overall journey. Online enhancement. Transpennine have recently renewed and invested their online website and app. They did this to reduce the amount of negative perceptions that the company has before customers travel. These new digi digital channels lead to empowered customers because they now on the website can search for tickets, travel events, the quality of travel when using the service, how to explore, help and offers. All of this boosts touch point satisfaction leading to the service experience, especially before and after the journey increasing. One of the most important parts of the delay reclaim area is of a delay reclaim area because 16.8% of the services were cancelled in March 2023. But since the relationship has improved with customers as the process to claim is much quicker, as seen by this review on screen, increasing the responsiveness that leads to an attitudinal loyalty because the customer has had a positive customer experience. Stabilising operations. Transpennine recently since the takeover have acknowledged what they need to improve on the better customer service. They have introduced a vast amount of operations to deliver a more reliable service. Transpennine are making a timetable 
altercations into December 2023 across their network to give customers the confidence that these trains will operate. As a result, this will greaten the perceptions of service before travel because Flanagan Johnson told Talbot 2005 caught satisfaction as a result of experience compared to the confidence being a customer's feeling of an organisation which boosts customer experience. Transpennine are also developing the interiors of their trains by adding more seats, bigger tables, Wi-Fi and bike storage. Customer experience will rise due to this because a Mintel report says 89% of travellers are interested in transportation that is slower but have a more scenic interior. The first important element is atmosphere. If the atmosphere on the train is bleak, for example, people sat on floors and complaining over being rude to staff, the customer experience can deteriorate. The second important element is reliability. In terms of what times the trains arrive, but also the service they provide consistently. This area is the key in the just journey map as it's pivotal to a customer buying a ticket because if Transpennine trains are reliable, they are more likely to travel. Lemon Vale of 2016 state the influence of these early customer decision making process models on service on customer experience research can be easily seen through reliability. The third most important one is responsiveness. The responsiveness information to customers if delays or cancellations occur are vital to CX because, for example, offering a refund. Mintel report says customer service has to be proactive to obtain a refund quickly because this could impact customers' future plans which could positively or negatively affect their satisfaction. The final section is personalization of the service. This applies to first class services. Transparent offer a first class service where you, you are offered a spacious seat, a selection of food and beverages, plus extra amenities. This is why staff call you by your name to personalize the service for you. Transparent also send you a personalized email when booking, providing guidance, etc. And a statistical report shows that buyers spend more and more regularly when the service is personalized 80%. Transpennine Express have two major competitors in Anglia and Northern because they operate in the same geographical areas. At this current moment, Transpennine are, in my opinion, delivering a lower quality service than the competition. This can firstly be backed up from the Trust Pilot Reviews as Transpennine has an average rating of 1.4 stars, ranked bad, compared to Anglia, who are ranked at 2.5, ranked poor. The service is not high quality, with 86% ranking 1 star. This is because of problems stated by customers and not enough carriages for people to sit anywhere. First class is never open, even if you pay. Too many services than needed, so customers experience cancellations because of train train driver shortages, lowering customer experience. As a result, to gain a co- competitive advantage from these situations, Toronto Accelerator stayed to refine marketing strategy data to personalise and appeal to 16 to 34 year olds, the main demographic, gain a social media presence and take advantage of technology to create opportunities. In addition, first class services is overall low on LNER and Northern, and Northern don't offer first class on long distance journeys journeys as well. So Transpanic can offer an improved first class by offering a new hot food menu like LNER and also offering a similar scan the QR code and deliver food to your seat as LNER do on long journeys. Because I'm not sure I know Kudos Meek 2017 state dissatisfied customers might switch to alternative train modes if these are available or did not decide or decide not to travel at all on first class services. Our transparent ahead of behind competition comes down to a multitude of factors. There are three ma- major areas to look into, the first one being the amount of trains that arrived on time. LNR saw a third of their trains arrive on time in 2022 compared to Transpennine 37.4. This shows Transpennine are ahead of competition in this area, showed, showed by, stated by a study on the Daily Mail. Secondly, delay compensation claims rose from 82,131 in 2021 22 to 256,065 in 22 23, stated by Office of Rail Regulation. Compared to LNER, where these rose from 34,752 to 210,963, which is 70, 79,000 less. This is important, meaning because this area is so important because it puts transfer behind competition in the travel sector. Customer experience metric, a major one is sales. And looking into this, by the company's CX being ranked bad, this is had a toll on profit leading from sales. As pre-tax profits slumped from 71, 72.1 million to 8 million 12 months in March 22, compared to LNERs that finished on 226.8 million, when they have over a two, 200 million pound profit lead on their customers. This is my reference slide and thank you for listening.